Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to the Rising Superstream. Today, we've got our Xbox hooked up, which does not happen often. Usually we're playing awful Kuso Gay on the Xbox, but now we're going to be checking out some original Xbox games. How you guys, how you guys doing today? Um, queued up on the docket. Uh, in case you guys haven't heard, um, Xbox One has phenomenal 360 and original Xbox support. Uh, and just recently, they put out another batch of original Xbox titles. Um, so on the docket today, we got Blinks, the Time Sweeper, Panzer Dragoon Orda, and Breakdown, with their boxes all chroma keyed out for your pleasure. Uh, I hadn't considered this, but of course, that's the natural course. Uh, I think it's really fucking cool that Panzer Dragoon and Breakdown got added. Like, that's dope. Blinks is like, alright, I don't dislike Blinks. I'm down to retry that. But fucking Panzer Dragoon and Breakdown? Holy shit, that's awesome. I've I've only played Panzer Dragoon Order a little bit, and I've never actually touched Breakdown. So I'm excited to get to that in a little bit. Um, there was also some other ones that came out. A handful of Star Wars games, including the old Battlefront 2, uh, Jedi Knight, which I've never played and I'm kind of interested in. And uh, I think KOTOR 2 got added. Uh, like a bunch of sh uh, cool shit. Like lots of nice stuff. What's your thoughts on KOTOR 2 being added without the restored content? Seems weird to not include it, so why did they bother? Well, I imagine they um, they just went by what's on the Xbox disc. Because these games don't have any real alterations made to them. Oh, yeah! You know we're playing real video games when this comes up. Oh, I missed that logo. That was so good. Classic Xbox logo is, is my jam. My uh, my best friend at the time had an Xbox, PS2, and a GameCube, because he was a very fortunate kid. So I got to play a lot of original Xbox titles with him, and uh, boy, there there is some nostalgia there, even though I never had it. Sinkama says, I have incredibly fond memories of Blinks from my childhood, and literally no one else I knew played it. Will my memories be shattered today? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, we're playing this, by the way, yeah, we're playing this on a vanilla Xbox One, not an Xbox One S or X. Uh, so these games will be running, I believe, at 960p, uh, as that's what they run at on the original Xbox One. On Xbox One X, these games would be running at 4K, which is fucking awesome. So this is made by Artoon, who have made a bunch of games for Nintendo. I think they worked on some Yoshi titles. Um, but they did this this awesome mascot platformer from Microsoft back when the original Xbox was coming out as well. This one, I don't know. I don't think it's like a super fondly remembered title of theirs, but it's possibly their biggest game they ever made. I mean, maybe Blinks 2 was a bigger game. I, I never actually played Blinks 2, so I'm not totally sure. God, I'd love if they made a new Blinks. That'd be tight. Just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> This is a nice intro, actually. Kind of fun. I miss when Microsoft, like, put money into Japan. Because, like, all the shit they got out of Japan was fucking awesome. Whoa, game demos! Oh, fuck, okay. Options first, but then we gotta see what game demos we got on this disc. And also, if they work on the Xbox One, I mean, they probably will. Oh, yeah. Dem demos for original Xbox games aren't playable on Xbox One. Neat! I was curious about what would happen there. Neat. That's kind of a bummer, but that would have been cool. Also, look, by the way, I didn't notice this. But look, above the Blinks logo, they've got that yellow only on Xbox stamp. That doesn't appear on the Blinks logo itself, but of course it would appear on the boxes of Xbox exclusive games. Um, even here on Panzer Dragoon Orta, right next to the GameStop sticker I tore off. Uh, we got that only on Xbox. That's really weird that that's on the title screen. I wonder if there were other Xbox exclusive titles at the time that had that stamp on it. Because <laughs> I think that's pretty nifty. Yazajin says, uh, concerning Jet Set Radio Future, I hope the Jet Set Radio combo disc with Sega GT will become backwards compatible. Specifically that one, because it's the one I have, yeah. 
A lot of people want Jet Set Radio Future to be backwards compatible for good reason. Um, and there's two releases of it. There's the Jet Set Radio Future disc, which is just Future, and there's the combo disc of IT and SEGA GT. I imagine when they do Jet Set Radio Future, they'll probably add SEGA GT at the same time, which is also a good game. And then they can have the combo disc going as well, maybe? That seems like the right way to do it. How do you feel about PlayStation's handling of backwards compatibility? Um, when they were doing it before Xbox did their backwards compatibility stuff, or I should say before the Xbox stuff got really enhanced, I really dug it, where it was like, you can't use your old discs, you're gonna buy the game again for like 15, 20 dollars, but it's gonna run better, it's gonna look better, it's gonna have trophies, it's gonna be improved. Um, and I was down with that. And then Microsoft didn't just drop the microphone, they threw the microphone through the fucking floor. And now, like, all Xbox and 360 titles are, like, dramatically improved when played on Xbox, and you can use your discs. So, yeah, I think, I think it would be nice if Sony plays catch-up at some point. Because I liked what they were doing, but when, when Microsoft threw the gauntlet, they, they nailed it. I wonder if Matt loves this game. Matt does not have any positive affection for Blinks. I'm pretty sure he actively dislikes it or laughs at it. One or the other. I can't tell. But he doesn't love it. See, everyone gets turned into these gems, right? And these are your time things. I should grab the game manual. For you young ones, games used to come with manuals. Um, I mean, fuck, I'm only 25, right? On the back of the manual, it's got, like, the shard combinations and what they make. So I'm gonna hang on to that, in case I need it. Yeah, I believe the second Blinks is on the original Xbox as well. No, Blinks did not survive the jump to 360. This pre-rendered CG looks great, actually. Like, it's pretty high quality. Yeah, I don't have uh, Conquer, so I haven't been able to pop that one in my Xbox. Time sweep begins. Defeat all the time monsters. Wow, it looks super sharp. I remember playing this once as a kid. And even I can tell this is a big improvement. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a this is an early mid 2000s camera system though. You rotate around the character and then you like pan it around the character like that. It feels really weird. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta make sets by collecting matching sets. Otherwise you get junk. Hold down B and select the time control you want. Okay. I think I botched it. Can I squeeze through there? Oh yeah. Confirmed not botched. It's neat how they have a little countdown message thing. Oh yeah, you sweep shit and then you shoot it back up. Right, right, right. That's the thing. Yeah, 
Man, I gotta say, Blinx's character model looks great. Like, for the time. Xbox was, like... <laughs> Xbox was legitimately so far ahead in terms of hardware. The results you could get on this thing compared to the GameCube or PS2, like, holy crap. Yeah, there's a pretty good amount of, like, smaller Japanese titles on the original Xbox. At the time, I mean, I imagine it has to do with Microsoft, A, wanting to get their platform off the ground in all territories. Um, but also, games didn't cost quite as much to make, so they were pretty fast and loose with, like, commissioning titles from Japanese developers. Like, they have, exclu they have tons of exclusive titles from Sega. Uh, they have exclusive titles from, from software. Uh, Atlas, uh, Namco, e every developer, like fucking everyone, Namco, I think Capcom might be the only exception, I can't think of an Xbox exclusive Capcom game, but that's probably just because I'm not thinking hard enough, oh, no wait, Final Fight Street Wires was on PS2, um, yeah, I don't know about Capcom, but like everyone else had stuff, Yeah, the Xbox unfortunately never did, like, super take off in Japan, but it didn't do as abysmally as Xbox One in Japan. Like, original Xbox and 360 did... Eh, they did fine. Like, last place, but fine in Japan. And with 360, they really renewed their push at, uh, J uh Japanese games, so... Yeah, Dead Rising once the 360 came around, Capcom had, but I mean on the original Xbox, I can't recall. Oh, and there's a shop. I don't know how that works. What do we got in the shop? Oh, she's cute. Uh, retries, time holder, uh, better vacuum. Costume, well, one costume. I wonder if you unlock more stuff eventually. <laughs> and a pay button. So I guess you select what you want. Oh, look, you can stock everything. What a nifty feature that you'll use once. I missed two secrets in there. Yeah, besides the camera, this control's alright, though. I should actually check... Uh, no option. <laughs> I should actually check to see if you can address the camera. Because if I could just change that, it'd be super solid. Granted, it still feels pretty tight. Makes me curious about trying Blinks 2 at some point, honestly. So hopefully they get that one going with backwards compatibility. But now Xbox games, like, they've started costing a little bit more. Like, now that they're coming back, the prices have gone up again. I got the vast majority of my original Xbox and PS2 games when I first moved out uh, from the country to the city. Um, oh, slow seems good. So let me use slow. And uh, when I first moved from the country to the city, I realized every game store in the city had all these games that I had, like, seen on TV, on, like, G4, or seen in magazines, like EGM and Nintendo Power and stuff, but I never actually had a chance to purchase them myself, um, because they just weren't available any, at any stores in the country. Um, and it was right... Oh, fuck, I keep getting the wrong time there. It was right when, like, 360 and PS3 were, like, reaching the middle of their life, so stores were, like, trying to get rid of their original Xbox and PS2 stuff, and I managed to get, like, a shitload of desirable, well, desirable games and less desirable games, like Blinks, for a tiny amount of money, relatively speaking. Yeah, I do have Jet Set Radio Future. That one, unfortunately, is not uh, not available for backwards compatibility quite yet, but can you vacuum these guys up? Probably not. 
Oh, they didn't hurt me at all. Oh, they're not as dangerous as I thought they were. Oh, right, when you get hit, it just backs you up. I forgot that was like a thing. This had widescreen support, but that would take that would have taken some like actual tinkering. Wait, did the boss just fuck off? Huh, do I have to use my time powers more effectively to beat him within a certain amount of time or something? Oh, maybe he comes back later on. Uh, I think there was an SSX game that was just added to the backwards compatibility. I don't actually own any of them, but I know people have a real reference for them. Oh shit, I'm dead. Well, Toe Jam and Earl Fruit becomes backwards compatible, I hope. It's like not a great game. It's, well, that's an understatement. Toe Jam and Earl 3 is pretty awful. But I do have it. What led to this being played just because it's on the backwards compatibility. I was like, hey, you know what? Check out some of this stuff. Literally one person asked me to play Blinks, and I said, you know what? That's good enough. Because I was going to do Panzer Dragoon and Breakdown, because those ones are cool. And one person asked me, hey, can you do Blinks? I really like Blinks. I said, sure. <laughs> sure, I'll do Blinks. This is alright, though. It's better than I remember it being. It's like pretty solid. So I had like no hearts left. 200 to buy a retry. I'm gonna let myself die and see what happens when you game over. Maybe you have to restart the whole world. Can I do Lost Odyssey? No, I can't do Lost Odyssey. It only took one person for Blinks because Blinks is like a fucking platformer. <laughs> Not gonna do like a JRPG. <laughs> I appreciate the gumption, though. Is that 90 down there? I don't think so. Yeah, that's no, just a... Also, shoutouts to just starting the game with a double jump. That's kind of fun. I guess you need the better vacuum for these big ones. Oh, yeah. That's it, so... Oh, right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I don't have, I don't really have any plans. Everyone's just asking me about streaming shit now. I don't really have plans to stream for Vengeance. I've already played through it like a ton of times, so. We all know the whole game. <laughs> Hopefully one day they'll release Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on consoles. That shit I will play. Okay, I'm gonna look for hearts, because I assume that'll give me a retry. This environment's really neat. I don't even really know how to describe it. Like, cartoony, gothic. 
fuck, I don't know. It's really nice, though. I appreciate all the, like, lights they're abusing here. How areas are just randomly colored with green light and stuff like that. Looks kind of nice. Nice, okay, yeah. So that's it, that you get retries. Tim Burton-esque? Yeah, a little bit, actually. Down here. Did I come through this area? Or is this just a place that you fall into if you fuck up? I like how he has, like, that wall slide animation. That's super cute. Yeah, so I guess I just... Oh, yeah, this is the fuck-up zone. That's exactly what this is. Yeah, another 16 ton. I gotta get the vacuum for that. That seems too good to not have. Ooh, Metal Dungeon. That name rings familiar. Hang on, let me Google that just to make sure. Did that come out in English? Yeah, it did come out in English. Shit, I should get that. Yeah, I don't know when or if that'll ever come out on backwards compatibility. But it'd be fucking tight if it did. That was... That was a dungeon RPG, right? On the original Xbox. Actually made in Japan, too. I should stream Vex. I actually have Vex. When they do the backwards compatibility, maybe that'll be a thing. Oh my god, this boss is fine. Straight out of Sesame Street. Okay, only one hit in per per pause. I guess that's sensible. Oh fuck, I got body. <laughs> you know if you go to the Microsoft store you can buy OG Xbox games digitally, right? Yes, I am aware. But not all of them are there. Only ones that they have backwards compatible, as far as I know. Yeah, everyone's telling me Vex is alright. Everyone's been telling us since we made fun of it that Vex is actually like super alright. So I'm willing to believe it. I like how the gold is like all the different pickup items, but just with this like aggressive gold shader. Oh no, it despawned! Fuck! <laughs> I should have used the vacuum. I must have lost half of it. <laughs> Look at that C plus rank. All my ranks have been terrible. I like how you exchange the items you've still got on you at the end for money. Okay, so how much does the aesthetic change between areas, I wonder? I got a collection button here, too. Oh, that's the collection button. Great! This is a wonderful screen that tells us nothing. Oh, the shop's currently locked. I guess I have to beat stage one to unlock the shop for, uh, for the second area. Maybe there's a shop for each area that has different stuff. 
Oh yeah, we're still gonna stream Dinotopia. I just canned that for today because I got a uh, shipment notification for my GameCube HDMI adapter. Uh, so it'll look way, way better once I get that. So retry holder, I suppose, gives me an extra um, retry. Time holder, not sure what that does. Let me buy a time holder. I want a new vacuum, but yeah, ring me up. Yeah, I am excited for God of War. That'll be fun. I am also trying to avoid spoils. <laughs> okay, one really nice touch in the controls that's really subtle. Uh, when you're vacuuming, you're totally stationary, right? When you vacuum something successfully, if you're holding a direction on the stick, Blinks will take like two or three steps in that direction. Those little steps. Just a little extra boost to get you where you need to be. Which is really nice. It's really thoughtful, actually. out this. Okay, there's more purples up there. Can I hop up there from here? Nope. I should need one more purple. And there's some hearts back here. I can come back again. It's a neat system, collecting them like that. This water is really nice, too, for the time. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get that heart. There's two already. Nice. Hopefully I can find some more hearts, because, like, I'm all out. And I think I'll just game over the moment I hit an enemy, so... Boy, there's another one up there. Yeah. Okay, at least I'll get one heart now. Can I vacuum up these bombs? Sick. That could have just killed... Oh, fuck! Well, I get one retry. It's better than nothing. I like that. Cute animation. Let me just cash out there. Get that last rewind. Because I can only store three rewinds anyway. Now I can try again at getting that, uh, that set of four hearts. Oh wait, can I hold four rewinds now? Because I bought the, the item thing. The stock thing. Whatever it's called. One's Blink's Battle Royale. Hopefully this E3. Right? Hopefully it's coming. Okay, well, I know what they want me to have. Yeah, okay. Which drop? Junk. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go for rewinds then. So let me see, can I hold four now? Yeah, okay. That's exactly what that is. Oh, I like how they've stationed a little clock there on the edge of this building. Just to make sure you're paying attention. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I still have one heart, so that'll plop me right on the bridge, I think. I forgot. Of course, the bomb would explode. I'm good at video games, guys. Come on. Yeah, I, you know what? I actually am uh, interested in streaming Rabbi Rabbi, uh, Admiral Pansu. I'm just waiting for it to, like, go on sale or something on uh, PSN. But I actually am interested in that game. It's really cool. Yeah, I don't really have any E3 guesses yet this year, but uh, I am looking forward to it, as always. 
someone always manages to excite. Let's see who it is this year. I, I have high hopes for Microsoft this year. I don't know if they'll actually be able to deliver, but I have high hopes, so we'll see. Because this is kind of the year where Microsoft's got to just announce some shit. Because it's only going to get worse for them from here on out if they don't. Or if they aren't able to, I should say. You know, I don't think they're not announcing shit for lack of wanting to. Or anything like that. If they just announce a few more Blinkses... <laughs> if they announce Blinks 3 and 4, they'll probably be fine. Yeah, I can't... Okay, this is a different store then. Okay. And you can just straight up buy ammo. Seems expensive though. I don't think they'd announce a, a Blinks remake for all consoles. It is, it is Microsoft's property, you know, like, that doesn't make a whole lot of, a whole lot of sense to me. Xbox gamers won't buy it. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Like, console fanboys will buy anything that the first party touts hard enough for them. It may not be the typical Xbox game, but hey. Ah, it's a shame you can't just like clamber up just a little bit. I really want to get a heart, but you know what? I could get a pause. I could get a bunch of shit here. So let me just junk these, and then I'll cash these guys out for a couple pauses. There's a there's a crescent moon there. I have to get that and not the rewind. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if I come quick now around the corner. Are you going to pop back out? No, he's not going to pop back out. Of course he's not. Oh yeah, I can't hit the button if time's not moving properly. Fair enough. So I can safely jump down and look for shit. Oh, never mind, there's nothing. <laughs> God, I wrecked myself. Oh, there's something back here. But I probably need the bigger vacuum for this? Yeah, yeah. It's neat that they're not all hidden behind those, like, 16 ton blocks. Give me hearts. You know what? Actually, I can grab a fast forward, which I don't know what that's good for yet, but I'm sure we'll find a, a way. I don't know the exact uh, staffing situation for Zone of the Enders, but uh, as far as I recall, it's not. Hideo Kojima's baby. Hideo Kojima is associated with it, but it's actually someone else's um, thing. And he was just, he just worked on them both. 
I can't even remember if he touched the Fist of Mars at all, the uh, GBA one. Oh, right, there's like a fast forward barrier or something when you use fast forward. That actually sounds familiar, yeah. I guess I'll just take this rewind. Go off. I get the feeling I'm gonna need it. Need bombs for these guys, or can you just fatten them up? Yeah, I guess you need bombs. I wonder if you get more rewards out of them by fattening them up, though. It's a cute enemy type. I got three. Uh, well, I'm gonna take the heart again, always. Was Fist of Mars a good game? It's alright. It's not as good as you want it to be. Yeah, I've played the Rocket Knight games like once. I'm not like big into them or anything. They're neat. They have nice graphics for the systems they were on. Yeah, I gotta say, after playing this for what? Like 20 minutes? Not that long. Uh, this game has a worse reputation than it deserves, I think. It feels perfectly solid. Yeah, I saw there was a thing I can rewind over there. Like, unless it just shits the bed partway through at some point. Can't shoot that again. No, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I stand on this and rewind? Can I do that? Is this cheating? Nice. Oh fuck, I've ruined my purples. I'm already full on hearts, so... Oh shit, and I need to get back across. Uh, I think I fucked myself. I think I need another purple. If I can get one more purple, then I guess I can go back up and cross over. But I need one more purple. Can you jump on these doors? Because, boy, I feel like you could exploit some shit. Yeah, you know what? There's probably some exploitable stuff if you jump on top of these doors. I mean, you, you do a double jump when you're standing on top of them. So you're a lot more limited. Oh, there we go. I got a regular jump off of that. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere you could exploit that, somehow. Yeah, he does walk a little slow. That's, uh, that's certainly true. I don't think it's, like, awful or anything, but it could be a little quicker. Please drop a purple. Oof. I didn't get my purple, so I'm gonna have to come back to this stage later for my 100% completion run. When's Crackdown 3? Yeah, I fucking wish I could tell you. <laughs> That's like the one Xbox exclusive title that I'm looking forward to. Oh, the ball's worth 100G if you carry it to the end. Wow, okay. Keep that in mind.
Yeah, Scalebound is a real letdown. I, I maintain what I said, which is that, like, I don't think they would have just cancelled it for arbitrary reasons. You know, like, I'm sure development wasn't going perfectly if they cancelled it. But it does suck. It does suck a lot. Uh, I guess I will double down on Fast Forward and see what I get. Oh, look, I can actually option select that to a slow mo. Right, I haven't gotten a single record yet. I wonder how record works exactly. Like, I think I get the gist. You do something, and then it auto-does it again. But, like... What, like, what are the fine points of that in a game like this? Like, how exactly does that work? It sounds like it could be really hard to use. Am I gonna fall if I... Oh, yeah. Worth it? Maybe. Oh, could I vacuum that up? Probably could have vacuumed that up. Oh, that was where the goal was. I was, like, trying to jump over to the goal there. Let's see. Oh, I see. So record lets you create a doppelganger that can, like, stand on switches for you and stuff. That's neat. That makes sense. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the enemies are so slow, you really have no excuse. <coughs> it's cool how they rewind you a couple seconds before, so you can change the course of history in a real meaningful way. sacrifice the heart so I can get at least a fast forward. Maybe maybe two fast forwards from Lucky. This gem collection mechanic actually seems pretty fun. It was one of the things I saw people on forums mentioning they wish it was gone in the game, but I actually think this is kind of an enjoyable mechanic. Like, I see how it can be off-putting, but it's kind of interesting. Okay, can I kill him this time? Damn it. <laughs> I should have put on slow-mo. It's not too late, I can put on slow-mo. Yeah, each hit takes one of your hearts, exactly. Oh, look, he's on top of it. That's great. Or he's carrying it. That's great. Oh, I didn't kill him. He just escaped. Huh, okay. God, look at these, these riches here. Okay, I can... Uh, let's go three purples and a green, get that, and then we can get two pauses. Oh fuck, I fucked up! 
<laughs> I could have got two pauses, and then there's three hearts at very least. Oh, there's four hearts, maybe? Nice. Lynx's smile is great, by the way. Like, I love how he never stops. Like, whenever he's vacuuming, he's always smiling. It's great. Can I just keep retrying until I get a good answer? Possibly. Maybe one, two. Oh yeah, look, it restarted. But you could use slow mode to gimmick that and just get whatever you want, I bet. You know what? Let's do that. Wait, I don't. I don't have slow mode. <laughs> the level, levels are kind of intricate too. Yeah, I don't own a copy of Scalar. I'm gonna have to buy that when it gets backwards compatibility support. I did some sort of backflip earlier. I'm not sure exactly how I did that. It was kind of nifty. Are they planning to do a complete library port of everything? Um, well, so it's not, uh, they're not porting anything. It's actually all emulation. I get what you mean though. Um, these are all actually software emulated, which is really impressive actually. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever be able to do the full library because a lot of companies don't exist anymore, like say THQ. Um, and even though their stuff was picked up by other companies, they may not be able to get everything. Um, but I do imagine that they have them triaged in terms of relative uh, significance to gaming. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't necessarily think we need every year's sports games, um, but we probably want all of Sega's old games, you know? To be honest, I do. I would trust their selection. And personally, I hope they can get everything, or as close to everything as they possibly can. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna have Jet Set Radio Future at some point. I'm sure. There's no way they'll miss that. Like, it's, it's too well known an Xbox exclusive. I would like them to put out Gun Valkyrie. Which is not a game I really like, but it's a neat game. I don't want that one to get missed. Gun Valkyrie, uh, Brute Force... Uh, I could probably list others if I was looking at my Xbox games. Give me Vex. <laughs> Joke, like, I do want Vex. Okay, so this fans them up. Are there bombs in the arena? Oh shit. Or does that count as damage? Hot shots. Am I winning? <laughs> the camera's not amazing in boss fights because it always kind of tracks the boss a little bit. He just spat out everything. Okay, so I maybe gotta be more aggressive. Shit. <laughs> When's Bullet Witch? Bullet Witch is coming out on PC soon, actually. Are you a big Blinks fan, Norisuko? I never see you draw Blinks fan art. Right? So how am I supposed to know? 
Oh, probably can't hit him while he's up there. So let me just grab some more garbage while I can. Oh shit, no garbage detected. That should hit. Now he's gonna spit it all out. Fuck, I don't remember one. Oh, Blink's fan art goes on the secret account. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Am I winning? <laughs> I think I have to inflate him until he pops. Yeah. So when he spits them out though, I can just back him up, right? In time, and then he'll suck them up, but Blinks won't actually be affected. Like I think Blinks, yeah, Blinks isn't actually affected by that. So I can go restock myself. He's real big now. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. Okay, let's back him back up. Oh my god, I didn't back him up enough. I'm dead. <laughs> Game over. <coughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, maybe I just have to hit him in the back or something. <laughs> something less... horny. Let me just try hitting him in the back. He always faces you, so I guess you would have to use your time powers to get around him. Fuck, that was my bad. Getting around him is tough. And he's invincible when he's firing shit. Yeah, I love Blinks' smile, it's great. It's very him. Okay, do your big jump. Anyone have any ideas? I'm actually a little stumped here.
I don't really know if hitting him in the back is has anything to do with it, because you wouldn't have enough time powers to hit him multiple times. I could try pausing while his mouth is opening and filling him up then, maybe, yeah. That might work. Nah, they just break on him. He's a solid object right now. Like, maybe I should just keep beating him. But I don't know. That doesn't seem right. Oh, you do have to shoot him in the back? Confirmed? Super confirmed? Cool, let's exit the stage and restart <laughs> with our hearts up. Yeah, the music's pretty good, but the loop is... <laughs> the loop's a little brutal. turn around at some point. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait, you actually got that from an old Tips and Tricks magazine? Damn, son. Yeah, the music's getting better. It's actively improving. Easy. First try. Oh shit, right. Can I pause to collect all the gold? Yeah, okay. Oh, look at the water! That's so cool. I never knew about that effect in the water. That's actually fucking awesome. I wonder if there's other stuff like that in the environments. Well, that's Blink the Time Sweeper. I think we've all had a pretty good look at it at this point. So I think at this point we'll probably shift over to Andrew Jubilee and see how that goes. Wonder how difficult it was to program the time powers? Probably varied. Probably some of them were pretty straightforward, but... Because it's basically just tracking everything, right? On on a pseudo-timeline. Not a literal one, but... As long as everything gets tracked really accurately, it's just a matter of fiddling with them. Breakdown is a really cool-looking game that I haven't played. We'll get to that one. We'll, we will definitely get to that one.
hourglass caves. You know, I'm just gonna load into this level real quick. Also, shoutouts to these lightning quick loading times. I just want to see what the level looks like. Yeah, okay, so you do get out of the city. I've only ever seen the Blinks levels that are in that city area, so... That's cool. Glad to see that you do go elsewhere. So yeah, Blinks the Time Sweeper. Preserved perfectly, I guess? Feels good. I also got want to give shoutouts to how this game is spelt, and the proper ways to spell this game. Uh, on Twitch, it's Blinks the Time Sweeper, capital B, lowercase l-i-n-x. Uh, as you can see here, capital B-L, lowercase i-n-x. Surely that's just stylized in the logo. Surely that doesn't appear anywhere else. No, look right there on the Xbox dashboard. Blinks, capital B-L-N-X, colon, the Time Sweeper, all lowercase. I don't know why. I don't know why that's like that, but it just is. <laughs> It seems like a mistake that it's all lowercase after, but hey. Shoutouts to Blinx's, like, fantastic smile, by the way. Hang on. Like, look at this shit. Look at that. It's so good. Look, on the manual, he's got another piece of art. Also great. Sorry, his eyes are chromaing out. Yeah, it's like Knights, exactly. Is there any other good key art of him in here? Not really. That seems like that's all. And let me just check. There's no run button, right? Yep, there's no run button. Correct. 